Hi everybody and welcome. I am Laura, Army Wife here in the great state of Texas based out of Military City, USA. I hope you have all have had a fabulous weekend. Here in the States, it is Martin Luther King holiday weekend, so we've got an extra day and we've just been enjoying our holiday weekend, my husband and I, and I hope you have been as well. Happy New Year. If this is your first time stopping into my channel, welcome. I love sharing all of my luxury finds where I've been able to get some great deals on some of the items I have been able to add into my collection. And today I am going to be sharing with you the bags that I purchased in 2022. I started my YouTube channel last year in 2022 and I never really got around to sharing a lot of the bags that I purchased throughout the year and never even really posted them on Instagram as well. Every now and then I might do a picture, but I never really did an actual unboxing. And I thought it would actually be fun going into this new year, showing you what I actually purchased last year. And I thought it would be nice to be able to share those with you and give you a little bit of feedback for the ones that I've been grabbing to the most and grabbing the least. So let's go ahead and get into this video, shall we? So the very first handbag that I purchased in 2022 had been on my, maybe a wish list or just pretty much I had in mind. I always liked it. I thought it was really cute, but I was just waiting for the right color to come around. And I had been wanting to add a nice gray color into my collection. And when they released the color in this particular handbag, I said, okay, now's the time to get it because it wasn't too dark, wasn't too light, and it was still nice and classic. So the one that I am talking about is this really lovely YSL Mini Lou bag. And you have the beautiful um, leather with the actual pebbling, the ca like caviar texture with the gold hardware, and you have the nice little tassel and the nice, le nice leather piece here on the strap. So you've got a good length and a nice back pocket. This is actually in the color Fog. It's a really, really beautiful gray. The light's actually capturing it pretty good here. And you have the detail of the zipper that actually goes down um, like a little bit past halfway, which is actually pretty good because this way you can get a lot of things in and out. You do have a dark interior. If you are considering this one, there are some credit card slots on the inside. And see here, there you go. I can fit a thin pair of sunglasses. If I wanted to put my phone inside, I could. A very thin wallet and uh, my readers love the gold detail. I just love the gold. I'm saying, I feel like I'm saying goatee. <laughs> I loved the gold detail on this bag. I think the fog color and the gold accents just made it pop more rather than if it had been like in a silver hardware. So but this one is really, really pretty. But again, again, this is the YSL Mini Lulu in the color Fog. So this is my Chanel Duville tote in pink. This was a 22C and it was of course released in like the fall of 2021 but I purchased her in January because I was on the hunt for this one and thankfully it was the last one in the company and my SA from Chanel in Vegas actually was able to locate this one for me and I just think she's absolutely, absolutely stunning. You have the nice long handles. I don't have any um, issues at the bottom yet. And the back, I've used her sparingly because I just try and rotate them out. And I do have my um, Zumoni organizer in here in a very light pink color. I don't want her to contrast too much. And this one has the lovely little detachable um, pouch so you have the Chanel on one side here's where you can detach it and it's in the silver hardware and very nice size larger than your typical like okay it's like your little uh, mini pouch so very roomy that you can put things in here okay so you actually have two pockets on this side one is a little bit slimmer than the other see that and then a little bit larger and you have the silver grommets. You have the larger, you do have the larger pocket on the other side with your Chanel detail logo. 
they released this style um, Duville tote and just really beautiful spring colors very very light very fun light fresh colors now I was devastated 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 because I kept telling myself Laurita you need to use you need to protect this bag. You need to be very, very careful and try and at least do a spray at the bottom like the apple guard. And I never got around to it. And I, we dress very casual at work. So I get to wear jeans on the days that I do happen to go into the office. And these particular pair of jeans, I've had them for like a year. Washed them on oh, how many stinking times, okay? And I was out... I had left work, went to the went to the mall to run an errand, and when I got home and I took off my bag and I had it laying down on the table, that I and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but I noticed a really really dark blue line where this was rubbing on the hemline of my jeans because I had, was wearing a really large oversized Mexican shirt and I tucked it into my jeans, and so the very top line right above my belt. You had a really dark line. I'll insert a picture of it. So I've had to do a lot of um, color treatment, like to try and do the stain removal on it. I still want to take like a magic eraser to it, but I was doing my own concoction recipe from Good Housekeeping. I got most of the color out, but you can still see like a faint line. So I still need to keep um, trying to get that color transfer off. So if you are in the market for one of these Chanel Deville totes in this nice, really pretty soft, like cloth material. Be very, very, very careful with it having a color transfer, especially when you wear dark colors like denim, because oh, my heart sank. My heart sank completely. But at least it was on the back, you know. So, what can you do? But I still love the bag, and I kind of put her away for a little bit because it's you know now we're into the fall and winter season but I am ready to start wearing her again during the spring but just know that you want to be careful with these when you do buy these lighter colors and you're wearing denim so make sure that on your denim you spray it with that like carbon pro or if you've used the apple guard on this type of material for your Chanel Deville totes let me know but I still I still love this bag and I'm so happy that I do actually have this one in my collection. So the next one that I want to share with you was also one that I happened to see when I was in the store and I fell in love with this one. And look, it is still <laughs> it still has everything. I mean, guys, I sadly have not used this one yet. I've had it for a year and I have not used this one yet. But it has the beautiful rose gold look. It still has the sticker, so it's the trendy. And you have the really, really pretty rose gold Chanel C's with the little turn lock. And you have, of course, this the zipper. And it still has the protective piece right here for where the chain is. I still have the little cardboard, the felt, you name it, todavía está aquí, it's still on here. Um, I just haven't had a chance to use it because I've been using my, my other walks and it still has the paper in here. But this one is, this one is the 22C information as far as like the style number, I'll put that down below. And I just love this rose gold detail and I think partly in, in part why I haven't used this yet is because I need to sell I need to sell another one that I have so I love rose gold I have I wear a lot a lot of rose gold as you can tell and I saw it in person and I saw the really really pretty detail of the rose gold and the color of it I said oh my goodness I really 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 love I just loved it and it's in the black Chanel lambskin just absolutely gorgeous and I love that it had of course the plaque in the rose gold and of course you have the and of course you have the um, card slots on the inside and you have the zippered pocket here is there another tag? Dios mio. There's some other blank tag. Okay. Let me see. You can kind of see where the little silver 
um, plaque is there that has the number. So it's on the inside zipper pocket. So I slid my phone here. And that's what I liked is that I can actually fit my phone in this in this pocket here and I can still put whatever I could fit my readers in here and then I can still close it just fine right so I can still close it just fine because everywhere I go I have to have my readers and that's how I judge whether I'm going to get a mini bag or not if it it fits the basic essentials but it has to fit either sunglasses or readers but mainly my readers because I need those suckers um but I just I love the I love the black. I love the rose gold on it. I like that I can always fit my phone on this pocket or on the inside, and you just have the beautiful rose gold tone to it. It's absolutely lovely. I just love the nice thin chain, and for me, I like the fact that the walks they lay a little bit lower because I am a larger um, frame, and it sits below my waist. And you can wear this long. You can shorten it. You know, this one you can wear it over the shoulder. You can definitely have different ways of, you know, using the bag. You have definitely have ways of just shortening it. And see how it sits here? See how it sits right here? If you can see that. I just love that you can play with this a multiple... Um, I just love that you have a variety of ways to wear this. Whether you want to wear it shorter, whether you want to wear it as a clutch, whether you want to wear it as a longer crossbody you definitely can but the gold detail on here oh my gosh I just love this rose gold I absolutely love this rose gold let me see déjame ver, déjame ver, déjame, déjame jugar aquí, amigas. Déjame jugar porque I haven't played with this one my yellow gold my yellow gold one is is boxed away because I, I like I said I need a seller but look you can even double chain it mira que elegante nombre that's elegant look at that oh my gosh that's a beautiful but look how beautiful that is. That's a double chain. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah. No, that is really pretty. Okay, but see, now you can see different way. <laughs> so now there's a different way that you can wear it. But actually, that is actually really gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. Double chain. Sits up here so you can carry it like as a little shoulder bag. That's beautiful. That is really, really beautiful. But again, so this is the 22C chanel black lambskin walk with the rose tone gold hardware and she's absolutely divina she's divine this beautiful little crossbody bag this one was the very first like handbag video that i did here on youtube and i'm talking about this really really precious hermes click 16 wallet in the mauve sylvestre color and you have this nice little strap I wanted something just quick and easy that i could again just throw on real quick if i was going to be walking over to the building next door for breakfast or i just wanted to you know if i'm going to go out to dinner with my husband or we're going to go run to the grocery store i don't have to carry a lot with me you have the really pretty h classic simple detail here and it just opens and you have let's see you have four pockets you have this nice pocket in the back and you have another pocket here in the front and you actually can remove this strap and you can just use this as like a pochette you could just use this as a pochette in your in your handbag or like as another little wallet if you remove these straps or you can just tuck in the strap see that and i've tucked everything in so it's just kind of but you have a nice um you know width here for you it's just simple you don't you can't really pack a lot in here but the video i can link the video below but you can always watch the one where i have a lot of i have a lot of different ways of what you can fit inside of this bag um i can fit my readers i can fit my key fob i can fit quite a bit so i do a variety of things that can fit in this bag if this is what you're interested in but i was able to get this one at a really really good price I kept watching it i kept watching it go down go down go down and it was just not one that um i guess was a very popular style in this color but i am a mauve sylvestre fanatic and i just love this color because it has a beautiful um lilac -y pink color this is actually an hermes style um handbag or accessory however you want to look at it to purchase this one pre-loved rather than for me personally rather than purchasing at the store because it is it is 
pricey for what it is. So I just like the fact that the price that I was able to get it at was, was really, really good. I want to say it was like half off, but I can't remember. But I do mention it on the video. So take a look at that in case you are interested in this particular style. Because these do pop up on the pre-loaf market, like on the Real Real or on Fashion File. These do pop up quite often in really, really pretty colors. But really a nice little handbag to have in your collection. Gucci of course, so Gucci, of course, did a collaboration um, with Balenciaga. And a lot of people were buying that collaboration, a lot of the pieces that Gucci released. And one caught my eye in particular, and it was the one where, of course, it had the bees like back to back on like the Gucci, um, like the Gucci style print. But then it was, of course, the bees and it had the little BB logo. And it caught my eye because of the fact that my last name starts with a B. And once I went into the store and I saw the handbags, I saw that they had released it in a navy color. And once I saw that it was released in navy, it just threw me off from even considering the Balenciaga one because it was released in the brown color. And so now, of course, lately with everything that's happened with, with Balenciaga, I'm really glad that I didn't go down that route and get that one because truly my love has been with the navy print in the Gucci um, logo. So when I went to go try on that Gucci Ophidia mini style, I was like, oh, okay, this is cute. And I bought it and then I regretted it and I returned it and I ended up getting this one. So this is the Gucci Ophidia mini bucket and the blue leather with the Gucci um, logo. And it's not in that cloth material. Of course, it's in like their canvas style print, but I love the red logo. And you have the Gucci print at the bottom. I just love the drawstring. And the mini Ophidia, when it had the zipper, I just didn't want to play Tetris. And that's the thing. Because I was playing while I was there trying to fit, did it for my readers, did it for my wallet, did it for my mini pochette, whatever. And, and I was like, okay. And then I took it home. And then the more I looked at it, because I was like, it'll be cute like when we go on vacation or just a quick weekend. But I, did, I knew I was going to have to downsize. And I liked the fact that with this one... I could just throw whatever I could in here and I didn't really have to play Tetris too much. So I have the dust bag, but I love that it was just open and I had more, just more space that I could easily throw stuff in here. Yeah, vamos, like let's go. And it had an, you know, the strap to where you could extend it. You could shorten it. Super cute when it's cinched. And I just love, I just love this um, a little bucket bag because it was super cute and I could easily take this one with me you know I'm gonna go out to dinner with a friend of mine or go on vacation I can easily take this one and I don't have to worry about you know um, I, can, I just have space is what I liked about it I just had more space in here and I just think it's really really nice Gucci was for me one of the very first um, like true luxury handbags that I um, started to buy and honey I could not afford luxury handbags until I think I was in my 30s I was in my 30s when I actually bought my very very first Gucci handbag and that's because I bought that sucker on sale honey that's when the Gucci boutiques will actually do a sales and I was actually able to get um, one Gucci handbag that and I wore it to death I still have it I cast that somewhere over here in the corner, but I still have that sucker. But I love this like canvasy material because when you do get the Gucci handbags that have like that other fabricy um, print, it starts to get like the peeling, and and you do get the color transfer on there, like the wear gets on those. So that's why I liked this particular one because it was more of this canvas coated. I love the red and navy trim, and actually, I wear them a lot with my. Christian Dior um, navy sneakers with my little red hearts. I actually wear these sneakers a lot when I am wearing one of my little Gucci bags or whatever. But again, but this is the, but this was the first Gucci bag that I purchased in 2022. And I bought the little bucket bag and I was like, God, I really love this navy. And I love the fact that it can coordinate with my um, navy GG ballet flats that I ended up also then purchasing this next item, which was the Gucci Ophidia tote in the navy. And I've worn this one like you wouldn't believe. It's really my grab and go. I will reach for this one more than my um, never full. And my Neverfull is the personalized, uh, you know, world tour one. But I love this one. I just reach for it all the time. I, I wore this one to work last week. 
and again the canvas red and blue she's done she's done marvelous I don't have anything any issues on the corners and I actually ordered a Zamoni organizer for this one just recently but it has um, this pocket right here I just throw my cell phone in here and then I have this other nice little spacious pocket and I just love this tote and again like I just showed you those um, Christian Dior sneakers my husband's listening like oh that looks so cute your sneakers with the handbag because of the red and the blue so I just think it just goes really really well this is my Zamoni organizer it's got stuff in here yeah I have receipts I've got just stuff in here but um, it fits, but this fits perfectly inside the Gucci Ophidia tote. And I just went ahead and I got it in that cream color. Look at that. It just fits perfect. It fits perfectly. I love the drop on this. I love the drop on this. I love that I have a little bit more room. I feel than the Neverfull, like the Neverfull straps, like you just don't have too much of like a space. But this one, I can wear it even like with my jacket. I don't have any, any problems whatsoever. And it's just... I just love this one. It's very lightweight. I I reach for this one out of all my bags in 2022. I think I reached for this one the most. And I got this back in April. These both of these bags, both of these bags, I got them like within about a week, two weeks apart. And they were like my they were my Easter gift to myself. And I bought the bucket. And then as soon as I saw this tote, I said, you know what? No, I really, really want that tote because they don't, you know, they don't always release this navy. And I just said, I'm going to get it. And I've gotten my money's worth out of this one. I absolutely love it. And especially with the organizer from Zumoni, it just makes it so much easier. The Gucci Ophidia tote in the navy canvas. Highly recommend this tote if you are considering it because it's truly a workhorse in my collection. Okay, on the subject of totes, this next one. A lot of people like to collect trifectas. I have to say that actually this is probably the third um, item within my collection of sparse style that this has become a trifecta. And as you can see, I have these up here. I have been on the hunt for this particular color, this particular print for over a year because I missed it um, in 2021 when they were discounted because I am not about to pay full price for this bag. And I am talking about the Louboutin, the Christian Louboutin Cavada tote with this gorgeous red, red bottom Louboutin and nice hard base yeah it's it's just a beautiful beautiful base that you don't have to worry about the bottom you can just easily wipe it off and I had been eyeing this particular leopard print for for over a year and I love I, I'm, I'm a sucker for leopard I'm a sucker I'm a sucker for animal print for tiger print I'm a sucker for leopard tiger giraffe print like you name it and i like i just i just absolutely love it like they say it goes with nothing so it goes with everything actually with this tote i actually got the matching shoes would you believe it i'm still on the hunt for sneakers but this was released in 2021 at least i saw this one back in like 2021 or 2020 it's been out for a while and they did a few variations of the print one of them looked more of like, like a patent type of leather i didn't like it no me gustó but this one i just love the spots and i love the color of it and you have the beautiful peaks of the red on the handle on the underside and you have this nice red interior and these actually have a nice um, pouch as well just like a Neverfull and it's detachable and see that now these bags because they are all leather they're rather pricey this bag it was originally $16.90 and I actually only paid get this $633 on sale when I it went down on the second sale and that's when you want to get these now, what I love about this one and I can do more detailed video about them but I just love this because of the fact that it's very classic it's leather it's not like your LV Neverfull where it is canvas these are actually beautiful leather leather handbags and you have the gorgeous um, gold you have the gorgeous gold studs you have the peak of the red 
and I just love this because it's different. What I loved about all of my totes that you can see here is that they are not common. Sometimes it's nice to just have a beautiful leather tote that is that's classic, that's sophisticated. This is these are sophisticated beautiful bags and they're leather and then when if you can get them for six hundred dollars or less that's a really good deal definitely even check these out on you know like the pre-love market like on the real real or the fashion file some of them that i had been checking out that actually had been good about holding their value but if you can find them on a sale that's when i highly recommend it to at least get it half off because you can you can score a good deal on these but this is my louboutin cabada tote large size in this beautiful leopard print and I will actually put the style code number down below as well. Here, next one. This one is actually a bit of like a non-luxury, more like a contemporary brand, but it is this beautiful Tory Burch Raffia Straw Tote. And this one was originally priced at like $398. And I had been eyeing it. I thought, oh, this is cute. It's very large. It actually fits a ton of stuff in here, and I took this one with me on our. Um, I took this one with me on our Caribbean cruise. Look how roomy it is. You could throw beach towels in here. I mean, you could throw the whole kitchen sink in here. You have a nice little pocket here on the inside. This out, this actually um, emblem, the logo, is actually a pocket so you can fit your cell phone in here if you wanted to just like easy access. But it's really, really um, spacious and roomy and um, you can fill it up and you have the nice leather buttery soft straps i also revealed this on lexmas but this one was originally like 398 dollars and i had been eyeing it and eyeing it and again sax with avenue carried this one and they marked it down to 105 dollars and i snagged it i reached out to my essay it sold out online and I reached out to my SA and I said, hey, can you track this down? I had the style number from when it was posted. And he was like, yep, got it. And sure enough, I got it within a couple of days. Okay, this next one, I actually just did a video on this one. I was doing the 12 Gifts of Luxmas. And so I have those as well. Be sure to um, look for those in my channel. And this one was a nice surprise offer from my Hermes associate in Dallas. And she knows that I just, I love a lot of color. And when she offered me this next bag, I just couldn't resist it because the color just spoke to my heritage. And I'm talking about this lovely, very happy colored Hermes Picatin 18. And this is in the Rose Texas color. You have the nice little feet down here and you hear the little lock fumbling around because I just have it loose in here. She's a very chameleon color because she's more of a um, pinky coral. She's more of a pinky coral and right now, unfortunately, with the light, she's coming out really um, bright orange. Yeah, she looks cute with the little lock. There you go. But yeah. So Hermes Picatin 18 Clemence in Rose, Texas. This just was such a precious color, very, very happy. And again, the color, the collection when this was released, of course it had the Rose Mexico, the Blue Frida, the Quebracho, that's what I, <laughs> that's how I pronounce it. Um, and then this Rose, Texas. And because my mom is from Mexico, and I just loved like the, the names of it, just kind of spoke to my heritage being Latina. And I just loved this little rose Texas because I do love a lot of coral. Um, I wear a lot of coral in my wardrobe and I just thought this was a really pretty happy color. So this is the second Hermes bag that I added into my collection in 2022. Next two, these were just for fun. They are non-luxury, but they were very nostalgic to me. For me growing up back in the 90s, the luxury bags that I would see my classmates use were, of course, you would see the occasional Louis Vuitton and the occasional Gucci. Gucci was very popular in the 90s. I remember a lot of girls had that. And But the other handbag that started to come out back then, um, as far as luxury for me, was Dooney and & Burke. And so that was one of the very first ones that I kind of bought within, like what I could afford back then after I graduated from high school. And so Dooney & Burke actually re released a couple of handbags that I just thought were super cute because they were just nostalgic and reminded me of that time. But I loved the duck logo. And this one is just a super cute mini bag that I just wanted to have because I thought, well, if I ever want to, you know, if I go on vacation, I can take it. It has cute about Dooney is they always have the little, um, you know, 
part where you can hang your keys or anything. You, know, you can attach your keys to that. So I've always loved that about the little Dooney and Burke bags. But I just thought it was super cute with the duck. It's just so nostalgic and for fun. You know, there could be a time where I don't want to carry a luxury bag, but this just reminds me of just the, back in the day. It just reminds me of a fun time in this beautiful, like, gray color. Absolutely gorgeous. And this one was... Um, so these normally sell retail. It's called the duck bag. These retail for like $218. I happened to go in the weekend before, literally the weekend before um, get out Black Friday. And so they had marked it down to $104. And I thought, oh, that's a steal. And they had this color and then black and then like the dove, like the bone color. And I thought, no, that's color transfer for sure. But I just liked the fact that, you know what, this one, I wouldn't have to worry about it too much because of the darker color. And it was um, for the price for 104 And when I went to pay, I said, hey, do you offer military discount? She said, I sure do. So it was 10% off of that. So I ended up paying like $100, like actually like probably less than 104 with the tax. But super cute. I just love this one. And it's just a fun, cute bag to wear. I know a lot of people love to collect like coaches as well for those that, you know, YouTubers that love luxury. But this was just a fun, cute bag. So not only did I get that little cute duck bag, I actually found this duck bag. So it's a small little duck, but this one had a nicer size. So you actually have the flap and you have a nice bone interior. You have the um, dust bag and you actually have the nice leather strap with it. I mean, they're all new. I haven't used these yet because I actually was buying these towards the end of the year. Here's a little warranty card. It has a zipper pocket and it's got a nice magnetic. It has a nice magnetic closure. See that? And you have actually two straps, so it actually comes with this um, like material strap here. And you have the beautiful leather and, of course, the nice little cute little brass detailed logo. But I love this, um, What they I think they called this one like taupe. And I really, really was hoping to, I loved this color and then I had, was looking for it also in like the original British tan. But... Um, they had this one. I didn't get it when they had it in the British tan, but I wanted also this one as my second choice. So when this one got marked down as well, it got marked down like super cheap, like maybe 160 And I went ahead and I, I grabbed this one when it got um, marked down on one of their uh, recent sales, like in the last quarter of the year. But this one, I just love the size because I could fit a little bit more. The duck was a little bit more understated, but I still had the the nice retro logo of the duck and not when they changed it that said Dooney and Burke because this is to me what uh, reminded me back in the day um, for when I was going to school. But I just love the fact that you have it different ways that you can wear it crossbody with this alternative strap and then also with the actual nice, you know, leather strap that you can adjust. Both of them are all adjustable here. So they're not luxury, but I just love the fact that they are super cute and they're my little retro leather, all weather leather. I don't have to worry about these, that I can take these out in the rain in case something were to happen. And they're just really cute, inexpensive um, bags, but they remind me of the, what luxury was for me back in the 90s. Okay, we have two more and this one's packed because I was using her. <laughs> I shared this one with you guys on the 12 gifts of Christmas um, and you can definitely see that video as well but I'm talking about this beautiful Fendi baguette in this gorgeous turquoise um, color and you have this nice buttery soft star. The, ay amigas, let me tell you the leather on these bags is absolutely just delicioso. It's delicious. It's super, super soft. I mean, you just want to cuddle. You just want to cuddle and hug it. And it's just incredibly, incredibly soft. And I've been using this one. I've used it like three times this week. And I don't really see a lot of creasing on it, but I, she's just fabulous. And then the strap, super, super buttery soft. Um, I was using her today, so sometimes I do feel like if I have this larger strap, I feel like I'm having to lift my shoulder a little bit on this one because if, that, if you try and crossbody it, it's going to sit a little bit higher, but it's super soft to just carry here under, and that's how I was actually using her because of the fact that I had this, um, I had my sweater on that I, I didn't mind it like rubbing under, you know, my underarm or whatever, like for, as far as like deodorant because of the fact that it was kind of covering it. So it was actually really comfy because it's just so soft. It's soft and moldable to your body. And you know, okay, Nina, look at that. 
This was also one of my reveals for my 12 Gifts of Christmas was my Rolex with the turquoise face, also known as the Tiffany Blue. And come on. Hijo. No, look at that. Look, just perfect match. I'm all celestial today. This is my celestial Chanel with my sweater. Look at that. I'm sorry. Sorry, I mean, this. I had fuzz everywhere. Look at that. She's absolutely gorgeous. Mira. Look, perfect, perfect combination. Perfect combination. And she's just absolutely soft. I've just enjoyed her. When I was taking her out the other day, I was having a little a little uh, dinner date with my amiga. And my husband's like, oh, she's so cute. I was like, yeah, she is. And she just goes with, she goes with a lot of my wardrobe. And totally, totally inspired from, by Dale from Dale's, Dale's Addiction, if y'all watch her. And, you know, so of course I gave her honorable mention in my video. But I, this is a really just gorgeous bag and it's just so soft very first Fendi um, handbag that I um, have in my collection whether I would buy another one yeah maybe but I sure as hell wouldn't be paying full price for it <laughs> to be honest I wouldn't pay full price for it because these do get marked down and after I purchased this one like literally like last month or a few weeks ago I saw some retailer like satire or one of those one of those is there and it was like six hundred dollars less um but you can find these on the pre-love market um for like nineteen hundred dollars i think um i know dale's got a really gorgeous like a sea foamy color and that one i've seen i saw it like marked down with satire or one of those sites for like eighteen hundred dollars so they get marked down um but i just i wanted it because i knew i had i had the watch and I just wanted, I thought it would be fun to have a handbag that would just be nice to complement my timepiece. And I'm actually absolutely loving it. And I've gotten some good wear out of it. And she's actually very comfy. She's light. I'm just telling you, the leather on this is superb. It's just superb. I like, I, I just, you just want to just keep touching it and feeling it. And, um, but I would definitely be careful with it because I could see where it could crease. You just got to be careful but it's absolutely absolutely gorgeous and my turquoise fendi baguette with the long strap and the short strap is not leaving my collection anytime soon because she's she's actually a, a keeper but my very final handbag purchase for 2022 and actually i didn't purchase it but my husband did this was a christmas gift this one was in a color combo that I didn't even think existed. I hadn't seen it. My sales associate knows that I am on the hunt for anything Mauve Silvestre. And she reached out to my husband. They have their own little connection. They have their own little conversations and everything. And he doesn't keep a secret from me at all. And he said, hey, she reached out to me. She has this bag. It's in these two colors that you want. It's the only one in the United States um, from what you can see in her system when she offered it to us back in October. And what do you think? So of course I was researching like a mad woman and I said, you know what? I really love that color combo and tell her yes. And I am referring to my Hermes Bolide 25 in ever color Chai Verso. And you can see that you have the beautiful little clochette here. And let me pull out the little keys. If you haven't seen that video, um, go back and watch it. But I don't know if you can see that little peak of color. But this handbag was just absolutely unexpected. I never would have thought to add this into my collection, but I think this color combo just made it all that more special. So here you can see the inside of the bag where it has this beautiful, beautiful pop of that lilac, that lilac-y pink mauve color. This is in palladium hardware, so it has the beautiful little palladium um, lock. And it has the beautiful strap in the chai color with the palladium hardware. And of course you have the little clasps here. You have your little D-rings where I can attach that strap to it. You just have this beautiful pop of color of this gorgeous um, um, mauve silvestre inside. And you've got one nice little pocket. You've got one nice large pocket on this side and one on this side. And it's just a stunning bag. Just 
understated, sophisticated, and elegant. And that's what appealed to me with this particular handbag. And because it was a nice soft leather, and in the size of the 25, she wasn't too big. And what I liked is that she can actually come up quite a bit. See that? This I revealed on my Luxmas reveals. Pero mira. So I actually, I'm a wire fox terrier mom, okay? And when they released these little terriers with Hermes, this is in the mauve pale. Here's how she looks with the little buddy. Look at that, isn't that cute? So you can see here, he's just a cute little charm. When you do happen to see these pop up on the Hermes website, it says that this is a fox terrier and it just resembles, and it truly, truly resembles my little wire fox because she is sassy as hell, chihuahua. I mean, I swear that girl, she's, she's a diva. My dog, she is a diva. And so my sales associate knew that I was on the hunt for this. So soft and fuzzy and furry. She knew that I was on the hunt for this one and um, she, so when this came available in the moth pail, she's like, Hey, I got in the moth pail because this was a wish list, and I was like, Perfect. I wanted it in the moth pail at least because at least it could kind of coordinate with the moth Sylvester colors that I have. See how you can see the difference between the moth pail and the and the moth Sylvester. So, this the moth pail truly is more of like a lilac, it's a very pale lilac where your Ma Sylvester has more of the pinky, the pinky um, lilac-y hue to it. See that? That's really, really cute. But yeah, she's absolutely lovely. She's absolutely lovely. So glad that I have um, both of them together. And she's just a cute little accent that I can put on any one of my, any one of my handbags, regardless of whether it's Hermes or not. But this is just a beautiful bag in a nice size and this beautiful color. And it has the Mof Silvestre that I wanted on the inside. And it's just happy when every time I peek in and I get to see that beautiful lilac-y pink color in the interior. So again, the Bolid 25 Verso Chai Mof Silvestre in ever color leather with palladium hardware. All right, everybody, thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your day with me and allowing me to share the handbags that I purchased in 2022. If there's a handbag that I shared on today's video that you also purchased, let me know how you've been enjoying it. I'd love to know. And I so appreciate you spending a few minutes of your day with me. I hope to see you back here soon. If you like this type of a content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so it'll alert you when I do upload my latest video. Have a wonderful day to all our military men and women serving and defending our country around the world. I thank you for your service and I thank you for my freedom. Hasta la próxima. We'll see you back here soon. Goodbye.